Hello, and welcome. And I look like I just got hit by a truck, and I don't care. I got some stuff in today, and I wanted to change my septums out, or septum, and I don't feel like doing makeup. I have a headache, kind of, so, and I'm impatient, so I was like, I need to do it now, or else I'm not going to film it and talk about my septum. And that has been kind of requested. But first, this is the plan here. I have an 8 gauge septum, which is 3 millimeters. I was able to get 7 gauge in for a few days, but like, my nose was so sore. It hurt. Like, the pain was insane. So I ended up taking it out. Like, it can move around fine, and it wasn't a blowout. But like... I don't know, maybe it was, but like my whole nose as a whole, dude, it hurts so bad. So I ended up taking it out and we're chilling at 8 gauge for now. And my goal is to get to 6 gauge eventually. And I like the stacked septum look. There's a difference between just like stretching your septum and then stacking it because it changes the shape of the way your uh, septum is stretched. So if you go with stacked, it's going to be more of an oval shape. And obviously if you go by, you know, the normal eight, three millimeters, it's going to be round, more round. I want to get to six gauge and put a tunnel in so that I can have a stacked look but still keep my six gauge uh, septum. So I ordered some stuff from Ofer Body Jewelry. Ofer? I'm just going to stack my septum for now. I don't have a tunnel for it, so from stacking it from before, like, since I'm at such a small size, it really doesn't make, like, a big impact. You know, I don't lose my size. I really miss that look, so I ordered some stuff, and first they give you this nice little card, and it has, like, ball gauges on there, ball sizes, and you have a short gauging chart down here in millimeters so that's nice then they sent me a little gift and it's just a 16 gauge horseshoe I hate that this one was packaged differently but it's not that big of a deal I got this 6 gauge uh, ring and I will actually place a picture of it over here just in case because I know I'll take it out of the case and I'll try and show it again but probably not gonna be able to see it that well and then I love their packaging dude like this is another one that I got. And like, you slide it out. And then it's like in this case and you open it. And I haven't opened it yet. So I'm probably gonna take it out, clean it, and I will take my septum out and we will go from there. Okay, so just to get more of kind of an up close. And I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but, and especially this one. This one just has like diamonds kind of on the bottom half. Yeah, that won't even focus. So, these are 16 gauge, 8 millimeters. That's usually the bread and butter for my septum. So, I'm just going to take my septum out and we will go from there. I don't know how many rings I can fit in there right now. I think last time it was like three or four. I'll just stack until I can't. So I have these two and then I have some more in my little jewelry box that I'm going to add. My mirror is causing a glare. I like just woke up not that long ago. I'm not going to lie. This video is not sponsored. I just wanted to make this and I uh, we'll see if it gets posted because the way I'm seeing myself right now I look like hot ass okay well that was easy getting there see I just love having fun septum jewelry and I liked having my stretch septum though but obviously like the larger you go they don't really make fun stuff I got two sparkly boys in there. I'll just do this plain circle if I can get it in there. Oh, 
don't know if I can. Let me try a bigger one because like it gets cramped and stuff. So I can fit another one in there, but I don't like that one. Well, that's what we're working with for now. I got three rings in. I think I could have fit a fourth, but I didn't like the way it kind of felt like it was pinching. So I didn't do it. So we'll stay at three for now. And maybe I'll add like a fourth in like a month or so. Or we'll see if we can fit six gauge in, but I doubt it. This feels funny. It's like plastic. Anyways. Also, this is not sponsored. Don't think I said that. I don't know how sponsorships work, but I don't think my channel is big enough for that. So, that is all that I have. Again, I don't know what else to say. I think that's it. I think I've been stretching my septum for like two years now. So, there's that. Um, it's a very slow process. Septum stretching is so much different than ear stretching. And it hurts. And it can be so uncomfortable and it makes your nose like unbearable. So like if pain in my nose lasts for over a week, I usually downsize. And that's what happened when I put 7 gauge in. I don't even know if I waited a week. I did, yeah. That's all that I have. Thank you for watching this chaotic video. I plan to do a piercing and tattoo tour soon. Somebody asked. And I've been meaning to make one anyways. There's that. I hope you enjoy. I will see you next time. So I've been wanting to test this little microphone out and I thought this was great to do it for this video. I am using my phone so I tend to look this way for some reason when my camera is this way. So I'm sorry if that looks dumb. But I just wanted to kind of do an update on this video because I did change my septum up a bit. So it's still stacked but I do have my... 8 gauge in and my two overbody jewelry um 16 gauge rings in and there's a line on my screen oh it shows that it fits even that's pretty cool anyways so that's my setup for now i do actually kind of really like this i like having fun jewelry in um that's like the main thing that i miss with my stretch septum but I do also enjoy a really thick septum ring, so that's why I'm always so torn on stacking or, you know. So that's why I think I would love to have that in between with a tunnel and then being able to stack and wear my thicker jewelry as well. I think that's a great alternative. I'm going to end this video here. I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, thank you for watching. And yeah.